Here we are at Southampton, getting ready to race with Vintage Talk and her Cornish crew. She's a 40-foot 1990s boat, back for her second season racing in the top-tier Class 1 category. You may be aware that Class 1 boats are required to have two engines. VT's owner and skipper Gary has overcome this issue by installing a small secondary jet ski engine just to satisfy the rule book. So just pointing out here that we've got half the engines of every other boat in this class. Over to Gary now for a quick rundown on that engine. So spent the winter just trying to rearrange things to make the boat handle a bit better. So we've moved all of the hydraulic pumps over to the starboard side. We have rebuilt the engine, rebuilt the gearbox, rebuilt the drive line, tried to simplify things a bit, made new engine mounts, moved the engine forward 40 mil to try and get the balance a bit better on the boat. A couple of new bilge pumps, changed things there, new engine canopy, new rudder, changed all the fuel tanks so that they pull from either the port or the starboard instead of um, bow, middle and stern so that it helps it with the power when it leans over. We've fitted a new fire extinguisher system. It's the actual spec of it all then Gary, like big so blocks and all that 555 sort of... cubic inch big block, um, 1000 horsepower, supercharged, loud, very loud and pretty thirsty but simple, nice and simple. Um, yeah, so it runs a really basic ignition system, runs a big capacitor discharge ignition, no movement on the timing, it just runs a set timing and a couple of giant carburettors. Just, uh, yeah, just old school. Okay, all right, start preparing to bring it round. Right, push that front round hard. Can you put it onto the other tank for a minute? Yeah. 
So the problem here is that our fuel tanks are split so we can keep as much fuel and weight as possible on the starboard side to compensate for the engine torque trying to roll her onto the port side. Evidently we're running on the port side tanks here. We've sucked them dry and now we've got to pump some back and re-prime the fuel. Forgot about that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. How um how quick's that pump? Right, I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, okay. So I've turned that off now. All right. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna fall on my head, so just put it there. So we're on the right hand tank, yeah? Hey? Yeah, it's on the right hand tank. And it's pumping back. It's pumping back. <laughs> yeah, no, can you knock me in gear? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah, ready. Yeah, you're in.
got a cranking handle. James is pretty strong. So there we have it, happy with third place considering we lost the navigation systems and two spark plug leads at some point, only running a V6 instead of a V8, it's all to play for in the next race, the Pool Bay Classic. Vintage Talk was put together by a local team at Eastwood Garage, Penryn in Cornwall. Big shout out to Grant, James, Nev and co-pilot Tom. They've worked tirelessly to make this project a reality, with Eastwood Garage owner Gary carrying out all engineering of this engine from the ground up.